welcome back to Vinyl Decal School. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm just going to do a really simple walkthrough of how to set up Cricut Design Space on your iPad so you can cut a vinyl decal on your Cricut. So I have done a similar video in the past, but that was using Procreate and Design Space on my iPad to cut something. So I thought I would just do this as a more simplified version for anyone who is a complete beginner and just needs to know the basics. So this is my iPad, it's a seventh generation and I also have an Apple Pencil but you don't necessarily need that unless you wanna draw your own designs. You may need to check the specifications on the Cricut website just to make sure your software is up to date enough but as long as you can get the Cricut Design app then you should be able to use it with your Cricut machine. So first thing to do is to get the app on your iPad. So go to the App Store and type in Cricut. There are a few different apps that will come up, but it's the Cricut Design Space official app that you're looking for at the top. You might also want to get the Cricut Joy one if you've got a Joy. I'm not really sure how that differs, but it might be worth checking out as well. So open it up and it will ask you to either do machine setup or sign in. So if you've got your machine, that's the first thing you want to do. You may need to create a new Cricut ID if you don't have an account with them or just sign in. And then these machines will come up so just choose the one you have. Mine is Cricut Explore 2 so that is in Cricut Explore family at the bottom. And then you need to connect it via Bluetooth. So if you go to your settings and then choose Bluetooth, it should hopefully come up if the Bluetooth's on, connect it. It might ask you for a pin, in which case you just enter the pin that it says on that screen. And then it will update your machine, make sure it's up to date, and then you should be able to get in there. You can get Cricut Access, which is a paid monthly subscription and you get lots of designs included, but you don't have to do that. It will also lead you to this test cut thing, you can skip that or you can try it out. They are quite easy. So if you do get Cricut Access, you will get all of these designs to play around with. Not all of them you can like sell stuff with. Some of them are like personal use only. So it depends what you want to do. But there are free projects and also free for Cricut Explore 2 if you search in the menu. So these are the free for the Explore 2. And if you click on them, it should be zero amount and you just make it as soon as you want to work on that. But we're just going to start from scratch. So if you go to canvas, and we're just going to start with some wording. So I use the text box in the bottom left. Again, a lot of these fonts are only accessible on Cricut subscription, but there are system fonts that should already be on your iPad. But a lot of them are quite boring so it probably is better to add some of your own unless you're paying for Cricut Access. So to do that you need to get a separate app because fonts don't work on an iPad. So I'm just getting iFont but there are a few different ones you might want to look into it a bit further. They do have some featured fonts um, I couldn't quite figure out how to get those straight on so I just went to font bundles instead because that's a site I use a lot. Just got one of their free fonts, thought this one was nice and downloaded that and it came straight onto my iPad. So if you just go and find fonts to install and then you open that downloaded font, you can open the zip file and then just it and install. You have to do it via your settings. It does give you some instructions to follow. This is how I did it. And you can also get them straight from Defont and Font Space as well. You don't need to go on a separate Safari browser, but with these, just be aware a lot of them are personal use only. So once that is uploaded in your settings, it should be available on Design Space. And there it is, Christiana script. So if you type something, when that is selected, it'll come up. You don't really want those 
spaces in between. So to get rid of those, decrease the letter space and find that in the edit box in the bottom. You can also change fonts from here, change alignment. You can change the size or you can drag it to do that. And just have a play around with um, all your things. You can change the color as well and whether you want to draw or cut it. Yeah, just have a look what's on there. You might also want to pull in some images. Again, Cricut has a load of available ones. Some of them are free as well. But I'm just going to go to design bundles this time and see if I can get a free SVG from there. Just get this one. I thought it was quite nice. You don't need a separate app for this, thankfully, but you do need to make sure it is unzipped. So find it in your downloads folder, make sure it's there and unzipped, but you just click on it, have a look for it, it should be there. And it's as easy as pulling it in like that. There are different options below, you can kind of erase bits of it, remove sections or crop it if you want it smaller. And if it's more hand-drawn, you might want to kind of smooth it out by selecting those on the bottom, but this one doesn't need that. And then you either want to cut or print and cut. So because we're using vinyl, that would be cut, but if you're going to do a sticker or something like that, that would be print then cut. And you just need to click upload on the bottom thing to add it in there. And you can resize it how you need. And if you want to change the top from inches to centimeters, you change the metric units, you can turn the grid off. There's also lots of shapes you can add in that bottom thing, which are quite handy for adding to your designs. I'm just going to do a design with a shape, the image I uploaded, and then a word using the new font that I have as well. So again, make sure those spaces have gone from in between. So this is just a quick design, but I'm going to go ahead and make it. And you see when I do that, they're all kind of separated out and they're not in their design like I had them on the canvas. So to fix that, you need to select all, go to actions, and then you can either attach them, which is more of a temporary attachment, or you can weld them, which kind of sticks them together permanently. And then click make and there it is it's the size it will be on your mat so you can use snap mat feature um i tried to use it just wasn't having any th any of it it is actually better for if you're using different colors or you've got kind of a few different designs you want to lay out so for this i didn't really need it i just need to make sure that my vinyl was bigger than kind of six by six then you need to make sure you've got the right setting on your machine. So I usually do Vinyl Plus, but if you want to do custom, there are a ton of different materials to choose from. When you choose custom, these all come up and there's a big list. So depending what you're using, there's loads of different vinyl options as well. If you have a specialty vinyl, but I'm just kind of using matte permanent vinyl so vinyl plus works fine for that it may take a little bit of testing though depending on what material you're using so then just put it into the machine click the C when it starts flashing and there it goes cutting so peel it off your mat once it's done you may need to peel the mat away from the vinyl if it's really sticky and just cut any excess off then weed, make sure all the little bits in the middle have been taken care of and remind me not to do anything this complicated for examples ever again. I do have a full video on kind of a beginner's guide to make vinyl decals for a more in-depth tutorial on this if you want to check that out. And there it is, there it's done. Don't forget to save any scrap vinyl as well. And don't forget as well once you go back to your design, if you want to save it, click that button there, save as, and then either save to the cloud or your iPad. And then when you want to find it again, you just look in the projects, it should be my projects on the iPad, and 
There it is. I hope you found that helpful. For lots more tutorials on how to make, apply and sell vinyl decals, as well as lots of other small business tips, please do check out the rest of my channel. And don't forget to follow and subscribe for more videos like this in future.